What's up guys? Welcome to the third part of the Kids Guide to the Internet. This is the stupidest video, full 20 minute video I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's continue. Also eight, yeah, eight times, in fact, it has um said the whole internet tune. The intro Type in our password. Since your internet service provider is like your own post office box, you need to access it with your own private code. What? Your internet provider is not a, po a post office. What? Okay. That's um. Now we need to open our browser. What's a browser? Tommy browses. Oh my god. It's an application that allows you to access all of the different information on the internet. Microsoft Internet Explorer came with our computer. Internet Explorer sucks! Internet Explorer is, is a really bad browser, okay? Use Google Chrome! But you can download like I do. it by typing www.microsoft.com www.whywouldyoudownloadthis.com or Windows 3.1 <laughs> I have Windows 10 <laughs> Windows 3.1 oh my god you can download the other popular browser Netscape Navigator at www.netscape.com what? Well, I've never even heard of that Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? That's simple. It it's, it down, oh my god, just say it for us already. It means to transfer a file of information from a main computer or server to your computer. So, once you have wait, loaded wait, wait, your wait, browser- Whoa, 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 You're saying that all apps on the App Store and things like that all come from a main computer. <laughs> what? or already have it on your computer, you'll open it and it will give you a selection of search engines. Oh, yeah. What do search engines do? They search the net looking for the information. They search the engines of the internet. Information you requested. Cool. So that's how you get connected to the internet. And the search engines will show us all the millions of pages of websites and chat lines and games and everything? It's all right here at your fingertips. Um. I've seen people do that with their toes, actually. It's, it's kind of impressive. How do we decide which search engine to use? They all have similar info. Easy. Never use it in an Explorer. I need to download Everyone just download Google Chrome and you will be fine in life. Information, but they organize it differently. Everyone has their favorite, right, Peter? Yep. The search engines identify different categories and topics. When you decide what you're interested in, you click on the topic from the menu or type in a specific web address or word to identify a particular topic. Then the search engine links you to your selection. Yeah. I've heard of that. So said Yahoo? Uh, I never said Yahoo, dummies. It's a search engine, right? <laughs> Can we look at it? Sure. We just click on it, and the next thing you know, we'll be surfing the net. Wow, look at all the choices. Let's look at Yahoo Hooligans for Kids. Okay, okay. So where would you like to go now? Surfing the net. Okay, first we need to select a topic from the menu. No, cool, random, random. Where random. would you like to go? Let's check out astronomy. What? <laughs> this would be a five part series, but what? What's next? I need to do a school project on ancient Egypt. Would they have anything on it under countries? Let's Wouldn't they have that under history? Why countries? 
Could it be modern world, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, first we check around the world, next countries, and there it is, Egypt. Amazing, they have everything I need. Look, you can even write your name in hieroglyphics. Can we try it? Uh, L-I-S-A, right? Right. Okay. Why is it all caps? What is wrong with you? Why is it all caps? I'm speaking loud because I'm not really close to the microphone. Why is it all caps? Can we do something fun? Maybe play a game? Well, let's bookmark the page so we can find it real easily. Let's go back to the Ahooligans homepage and find a game. Soup. Computer games and online. They sure have a lot of them. <clears throat> to Oracle of Bacon? Really? Oh my. That's ridiculous. Bad we don't have time to play them. You're right, Dasha, but the tour was awesome. I can't believe how easy it is to surf the net. Number nine on the quick review there. So let's review a few of the concepts we've been working on, just to make sure I understand them. First, we need to get an... How do you not... Oh, how do you not understand that? Jeez, idiot. ISP, or Internet Service Provider. It connects you to the net through high-speed lines. Then, I download or install a browser that allows me to view all information on the net in my computer. Right so far? Then I open my browser to a choice of search engines that look up menus of almost anything I can think of. Never choose Internet Explorer. I have to say it again. Think of, whether it's my project on Egypt or Andrew playing games. It sounds complicated, but really it all happens behind the scenes, so it's easy for you. And you're right. You can find anything from planning a vacation to MTV or real-time live audio. The net is fabulous. <laughs> Number number 10, guys. With web addresses. What are web addresses? All websites have addresses, even the ones we just looked at. So if you know the address of the site and you want to go directly to it, you just type in the address. The web addresses follow a simple format. As I mentioned before, they all start with HTTP as the beginning of their address. Then additional information helps the browser locate the address you've selected. Not all websites start with HTTP. Not this. The like them just are called. For instance, the other day we typed in the address for Cape Canaveral. But where did you get that? We just figured it out. Look, I'll show you. NSA? NASA? What? That's ri This is NASA back in the day? Kennedy Space Center? Oh my god. <laughs> A lot of addresses are easy to guess. If they're very well-known places, they probably just use their name. And then you only need the last identifier. The typical abbreviations go like this. .com for commercial, .gov for government, and... .com means commercial, okay, okay, okay. .org for organization. I can't believe how easy it is to get onto the internet. When you hear my parents talking about it, it sounds like it'd be so hard. I told you it was cool. What? Okay, but... Uh, just, just why? You're going surfing on the internet. Eleven. I saw something about news and current events online. Can you look up newspapers too? We always have a social studies test on current events. Yep. The internet has news lines that give you up-to-the-minute information from the Los Angeles Times, CNN, the New York To the Los Angeles Kings and the Toronto Maple Leafs as we end this video. The next two parts. Goodbye.